Wouldn't it be great if there are timestamps for every single YouTube video that you're watching so that you could have easy access to specific chapters in the video? Well, I know that currently some videos do have timestamps for you to hop around the video. However, there are many, especially longer podcast style video where there are no timestamps for you to hop around with. And so in this video, you're going to learn how you could generate your own timestamps for any YouTube video. And we're going to do that using assembly AI and Anthropic, which is built in. And so without further ado, let's dive in. All right. And so we're going to generate timestamps for any YouTube videos using assembly AI. And so this could also be a zoom call that you have recorded for your meetings. And so feel free to use this for any other audio content that you have video with audio, but also please be extra careful that you have authority or the copyright in order to do so. So let's go ahead and install the prerequisite libraries here. We're going to install FFmpeg. Okay. I did, I've already done so already. So all of the code cells here has already been run. So for the sake of tutorial, let's rerun it again so that you know how it looks like. So here we're going to download the YouTube downloader library, and then we're going to install assembly AI Python library. We then will import the API keys for assembly AI here into our environment. So for safekeeping, I've included the assembly AI key along with several other API keys that I have right inside the Colab notebook. Now that it's already an environment, we're ready to proceed in downloading the YouTube video. So here is the URL of the video that we're going to download. So we're going to use Steve Jobs, very infamous commencement address here. And it's about 15 minutes long. And you do see that there are already timestamps in this video, but for the sake of education, we're going to use this as an example. So feel free to use other longer form content, video content as part of your tutorial. And so you could replace the URL here. Okay. So this is the custom function that we've created in a prior tutorial on the data professor YouTube channel in this video. So feel free to watch this and I'll provide you the link to this also in the video description. So if you haven't already, go ahead and watch this video so that you'll know how you could create your own YouTube AI assistant uh, in Python. And so, yeah, before proceeding further, if you don't yet have an assembly AI key, which I already have one and I already put it into the sequence management here, um, go ahead to assemblyai.com and then you can sign up by using your own credentials. So I'm logging in here and yeah, so your API key is conveniently located right in the dashboard. You could just click copy API key and then you have access to that. Um, so I already have some funds available here. So kudos to the assembly AI team for giving me credits to use in the tutorial. So let's head back to the tutorial here. And then once you have the API key, you could create your own secret here, add a new secret, and then you could say AI key and then paste the value in here and then you're all set. And then to import it, you'll need this following block of code here, followed by the identifier of your assembly AI key. All right. And so after running this, you'll be able to have a MP3 file of the YouTube video ready for you. And now we're going to proceed to generating the timestamps here. So we've already created two separate tasks that we're going to do. So let's have a look first. We're going to take the audio file that we have, which is the generated MP3 file. We're going to transcribe the audio file. So for that, we're using a assembly AI's transcriber function, and then we're going to save it into the transcript variable. And then you'll see that we're using transcriber.transcribe. 
method from assembly AI, and then the audio file is the MP3 file as the input argument here. And once we have the transcript ready, we're going to generate the entire corpus of the text and then assign it to the paragraphs variable. So, and all of the text will be in the paragraphs variable. Then we're going to iterate through each paragraph from the entire text corpus. And then for each paragraph, we're going to have generate a few topics in there. And then for each topic, we're going to have an accompanying timestamp. So finally, we're going to generate the final timestamp where there are the timestamp followed by the key topic name. Um, and so this will happen iteratively for all of the paragraphs in the video or audio, so to say. So let's run it. It should take a while because first it's generating the transcript and then it's combining it into a single corpus text. And then this is only the first part, right? And once we have this first part, we're then going to generate the final timestamp. Let's give it some time. Okay, and it's finished. Let's have a look at the combined paragraphs here. So this is the combined paragraph. So you're going to see that for the entire content here, we split it up into paragraphs. And then for each paragraph, we have the, essentially the timestamp. You see the start and the ending um, values here. And then we're going to generate the final timestamp where we're telling it explicitly that we want to have it in the minutes seconds format and that we don't we don't want any you know notes or any generated description of the content that the model will create. So on prior runs, it is giving me notes or based on the given transcript, it is providing the following key topics. So uh, we don't want any of that. So we, we specify that into the prompt. And so we should be able to get purely the, the timestamp along with the key topics. So let's run it. Let's give it a few moments here. So you're seeing here now that we have already the generated paragraph or the, the text corpus where essentially Using for loop here, we're iterating through the entire corpus text and we're iterating through each paragraph, right? And so for each paragraph, we're going to generate key topics along with the timestamps, which you'll see here. So you notice that there are some blank space in between, right? So the blank space is here. It's just going to show you that there are paragraphs of text. So this is the first paragraph. This is the second paragraph, third paragraph, fourth paragraph. And for each paragraph, you're going to see that it's generating roughly five key topics with the corresponding timestamp. And so here we go. The video is about 13, 14, 15 minutes long, right? Okay. And let's have a look at minute number five, 16 seconds in. It's about trusting your intuition. Let's have a look there. 516. Now connect in your future. You have to trust in something. Your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Right? So it's pretty much trusting your intuition, right? So it's very accurate here. Let's see something about perseverance, age 51. Alone. So keep looking. Don't settle. Okay. Perseverance, right? So yeah, there you have it. You could input a longer podcast and then you'll get your own timestamp so that you could, you know, essentially hop to the specific topics that you're interested in. And yeah, let me know in the comment section down below how you're using this particular Python workflow to become more productive. And so I'd love to hear them all and yeah, drop them all in the comment section. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you reached this far, please drop a fire emoji so that we know that you are the real one. And as always, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on notifications so that you'll be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn is to do. And until next time,